Hey guys, in this section we're going to be implementing it's a, a administration interface called Active Admin and w what it is is it's a gem, it's a Ruby gem that we can install and it'll give us a, a back end where we can actually add posts and, and um, categories, uh, we can manage users, it's, it's, it's pretty much an all-in-one admin solution. So uh, let's open up our command line and go let's go to our project site which whoop sorry about that sites and then my Ruby blog and we're gonna start the server uh, Rails S okay and let's open up a browser and go to our local host 3000 and let's go to the posts page all right so we have our posts and if you followed along in the last video you can see we have our categories created um, so that the functionality is coming together uh, obviously we still have work to do with the layouts um, one sec so we, we have to do work with the layouts and the views um, and we'll get to that in probably the next chapter. Um, and then the following chapter will be touching up all, all the aspects of our project, of this um, MyRuby blog. So the first thing we want to do, actually the first thing I want to do is actually push our app to Heroku, because we haven't done that in a while. So I'm going to open up another shell, another command line. So what we want to do first is um, I actually want to go to the remote app, the Heroku app. I'm not exactly sure where we left off, op, where we left off on the Heroku app. Um, so and you obviously have a different subdomain because there's only one. You can't have my Ruby blog twice, so um, go to whatever you named it, HerokuApp.com. And let's see. Yeah, let's see our posts. Okay, so this is before scaffolding, I believe. So well, categories shouldn't work. Oh well, it's just a static page. All right. So uh, what we want to do first is uh, do a, a database migration for in Heroku. So if you go to your command line. And just make sure you're logged in. Heroku login. All right. So uh, let's run a uh, remote migration, and you can do that with Heroku run rake uh, db migrate. See what that does. Now this, this, um, it's gonna it's gonna push our database fields. Uh, I mean our tables. For instance, it's creating the categories for us on on the Heroku site. But it, it's I don't think it's gonna um, push the actual data. We have to do that um, using something else. But let's just see if this. Let's reload this and let's go to categories. Huh, okay, so, all right, so we actually need to do a push now. So first of all, let's do git add. So we're gonna add our entire directory and then we're gonna commit, git commit with the am options and just a comment, um, let's say categories. Nothing to commit. Uh, let's try uh, git push. Git push Heroku master. All 
all right so it looks like it's gonna push everything all right so everything pushed we reload this and there's our our categories now we can click on news so this is this is our remote app this isn't local so everything is, is up to date now on the Heroku app so now what I want to I want to um, install active admin so I'm going to stop the server and close out of that and what we need to do now is go to our directory and we want to edit the gem file so what we want to do here is just add the active admin gem so just add it like this uh, gem uh, active admin okay and then just save that close it up and now we want to run bundle install so just go to the command line and run bundle install uh, okay so now we want to run this command we want to generate active admin install okay so you can see it created our routes It's creating the JavaScript and CSS that it needs. And it also created some migration files. So now we want to run rake db migrate. Okay. So now we can run the server. Okay, so now let's try to go to localhost 3000 admin. Um, it looks like the migration what didn't run. Um, so I'm going to open up a command line, another one, because the server is running on our other one. So let's just go to C sites CD. And what I want to do here is I want to run rake db migrate again. Maybe I missed something. So we get to do some live debugging together. <laughs> oh, all right. So you can see here. It went through our migrations, which I have um, in DB migrate, and this is the migrations that we've created. We we had the first one that created the post table, and then created the categories. And when you run DB rake migrate, it goes through these, and for some reason, it's stopping at right here. And these three migrations were all created. Uh, with active admin and they have to do with the active admin tables so not, nothing below the categories got executed uh, it says create table will create implicit sequence um, and it gives us the ID for serial column categories dot ID then you can see rake aborted uh, and error has occurred and no later migrations uh, will happen which are the three we need so 
Um, I'm actually going to pause this and just troubleshoot for a few minutes and see what's going on here. Uh, so I'll be right back. I'm actually going to uh, remove, try removing these two migrations because we already have the posts and categories table. So I'm going to go back and do rake db migrate. Okay, looks good. Uh, all right, so let's go and try this again. Localhost slash admin. And finally, <laughs> so this is our admin login. Let me just check the home page as well. All right, so we have a routing error here. Luckily, I've had this issue before, and I know what it is. It's uh, we got to go to the routes file. So if we go to config routes, what it is is this right here, this active admin route self. We want to move this all the way down to the all the all the way down to the bottom, right before the end, and then save that and reload, and we're back. So now, if we go to if you go to localhost 3000 slash admin, it brings you to this login. And there's a default login here, and it's admin at example.com, and the password is password. So now we're in our the admin panel. Um, there's not much here yet, but this is the dashboard, and we can set up um, views here for whatever we want, posts, categories. Um, and you'll see this admin users link and we can see all the users. Um, I mean, obviously, right now we only have this one default user, uh, and you can view. You can see all the information, the encrypted password, um, whatever, and you can delete and add users. So this is the reason that I didn't create the users table. Remember back a few chapters when we created the category, the categories, and the post tables. We didn't create the users tables, and this is why. Um, so right now I just suggest adding a user if we say new admin user and you want an email address and your password and create admin user and now we have a new user see um, so that's that's installing active admin um, in the next in the next section, I want to actually configure this. Um, we're going to make it so that we can view our posts and our categories and, and do all our CRUD from the, from the admin interface.